Hello everyone, today we are going to create a medieval style login panel in Photoshop. Okay, so this is the basic layout that I have created inside Photoshop. So I think you know how to create this kind of layout. So I've just used basic shapes uh, to create this layout. Okay, let us start applying some layer styles and gradient colors. Okay, so let me first begin with this uh, text box here. Okay, so I'm going to select this text box. So this is a simple rectangle. So double click this rectangle. So we are now having all these uh, blending options, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a color to this. I want some dark brown color like this yeah I want some inner shadow for this text box so let me check this so I want um, can I'm changing the size a little bit and multiply as well okay so this is enough I want another inner shadow as well so at the corners at the edges of this box okay so here what I'm gonna do is I'm just increasing the opacity and just increase the choke value and see so now you can see the contrast right so I would like to have a stroke for our text box so let me add a stroke here so selecting inside and I'm going to change this to 2. So I'm going to apply gradient fill. Okay, so the colors will be absolutely brown. Right. So Right, so okay. So I'm going to change this to zero. Yes, this is looking nice. Okay, that's all. Now I'm going to copy the layer style from this one. So you can right click this layer, copy layer style, and select this text box. Right click and paste layer style. That's all. Okay, this is nice. So now let us uh, take the background. Okay, so this is our BG. So double click this layer. And I'm going to apply a pattern over this. So this is the default pattern. So you can have your own patterns. So I'm selecting my pattern that I've already included. Here. I'm setting this to multiply okay so now you can see the pattern but it is very subtle right so also let me reduce the opacity to 85 that's that's also I think much you make that to 75 all right so this is looking good so now for this also I'm going to add in a shadow the same way like we did for our text box I'm going to use two inner shadows so first thing will be just increasing the size all right so another in the shadow only the corners just increase the opacity So that's okay so this is nice so now uh, so let us work on the borders so I've created okay so the borders are inside this frame group okay double click this group uh, I'm going to apply bevel and emboss okay, select this option 
so this is the basic uh, default settings that you will get if you apply this bevel and emboss inner bevel and technique will be smooth okay so i like to increase the size here but it is not get depth also so you can see the sharp edges right so we want that kind of people all right okay so i like to change the screen color somewhat like this and the black well you can be sprung right okay okay this is cool okay so i would like to have that brown tone uh, for this border as well so let me add those colors so all right it's nice I think this is nice, right? Yes. So this is looking nice. So if you want, you can play uh, with the angles uh, as well as the other options. Mm. So I'll go with this. This is looking nice. Okay. Yeah. Now let us design our login button. Okay, so just double click this layer. So as usual, I'm going to add some bevel to this button. So select this bevel and emboss option. Okay, so I'm going to change this color as well as the multiply option to multiply color to dark brown like this. Okay. So increase the depth as well as the size just a little bit all right so that's that's fine okay so let me add some gradient overlay for this as well it's gradient overlay yeah mm. Okay, so this is looking nice, but I like to add multiply. Let me add inner glow. Okay, so select this option. So right now you can see this is a screen. So increase the opacity, change this to linear dot. I'm going to use solid color. So let me change the color to like this. So we are going to apply the glow at the center okay so select this option so this is really very much this is really too much so we don't want this much glow so just increase the size here oh what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this option softer to precise see so I'm going to use this uh, option I think uh, just increase the opacity mm, that's okay right okay so let me add some drop shadow for this button okay drop shadow can just increase the distance and say 90 
is not supacity dot b all right so this will do okay so for this also i'm going to apply a stroke okay so that will be obviously a gradient stroke hmm. Reflect that. Hmm. Right. Then we can change this to uh, two. I'm going to reduce opacity a little bit. Make it uh, sixty. So I'm going to select uh, linear dots. Yeah, this is nice All right mm, I'll, I'll reduce this but okay I'll reduce the opacity as well here hmm. yeah, that's nice now let us design the title so select this box mm, double click so i'm going to apply pattern for this yep uh, settle all right so i've selected multiply from here so let me add some gradient color for this uh, um, right we can reduce the city and try changing the modes i'll go with soft light okay because that is like a nice so add a bevel as well so this is the basic bevel right i've changed the colors here so let me increase the depth a little bit uh, that's fine uh, all right so this is looking nice mm. Mm, uh, what if you apply in the shadow here uh, slightly we can apply a shadow so that will give us a vintage effect okay yes i think that's fine so give a shad drop shadow as well mm. so. all right this is looking fine yeah this is okay so I'll change this uh, text colors to brown. Yeah, nice. Make the little desaturated. Okay. I think we can increase the shadow for this uh, text box. So double click this. Increase the opacity here. Okay. And for the previous one also I'm going to increase the opacity. Hmm. Alright. That's fine. Color. Let's change this to some other color. I think this is fine this color is looking nice so I'm going to keep this 
okay so right click this and copy their style and select the other text box and paste that layer stuff right yes this is looking nice so let me add another small detail for our title so just uh, i'm going to zoom this all right let me create a new rectangle all right so i don't want the stroke here so i i want fill for this so this one so i'm going to rotate this so press ctrl t and hold shift and rotate it uh, 45 degree so let us use this uh, same title layer style okay so select this one right click copy layer style and just all this and apply same layer style right so yes, of course we have to do some adjustments so double click this i'll reduce the size here increase the depth okay we can change the graph as well from this option okay mm. this or I'll use this option all right so to fly yeah it's okay so I'm going to duplicate this Let's control J okay and reduce this size So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the style for this. I don't want the bevel option. Instead, I'm going to add some inner glow, right? So that's for the, let me select here edge. It's a two size. So deselect all these values gradient overlay pattern overlay and all we don't want that as well as we don't want to drop shadow these like this in the shadow as well so we just want some glow right hmm. make it normal right um, all right so this is looking nice and then I'm going to use inner shadow. Just a light bit to apply. Yes. All right. So let me change the glow from edge to center. Okay. This is looking good I'll change the color to this orange so, uh, all right so this is looking nice okay so i'm going to select these two and put it right here just hold alt and drag so this will give you another copy okay yes this is our final result so i hope this video will help you uh, in your game ui projects as well so if you have any doubts or any questions just uh, post them in the comment section so thank you for watching this tutorial so don't forget to save